and welcome to our session. Let us discuss the following question. The question says, by using the properties of definite integrals, calculate the following. Integral of cos square x from 0 to pi by 2. Before solving this question, we should first be well versed with second fundamental theorem of integral calculus. Now, according to second fundamental theorem of integral calculus, if phi x is the antiderivative of continuous function fx defined on closed interval ab, that is, derivative of phi x is equal to fx, then Integral of fx from a to b is equal to phi b minus phi a. You should also know one of the properties of definite integrals which says integral of fx from 0 to a is equal to integral of f of a minus x from 0 to a. The knowledge of this theorem and this property is the key idea in this question. Let i is equal to integral of cos square x from 0 to pi by 2. From the key idea, we know that integral of fx from 0 to a is equal to integral of f of a minus x from 0 to a. So, using this property, integral of cos square x from 0 to pi by 2 is equal to integral of cos square pi by 2 minus x from 0 to pi by 2. So, now i is equal to integral of cos square pi by 2 minus x from 0 to pi by 2. We know that cos pi by 2 minus x is equal to sin x. So cos square pi by 2 minus x is equal to sin square x. This is equal to integral of sin square x from 0 to pi by 2. Let's name this equation as equation number 1 and this as 2. Now, on adding 1 and 2, we get i plus i is equal to integral of cos square x from 0 to pi by 2 plus integral of sin square x from 0 to pi by 2. This is equal to integral of cos square x plus sin square x from 0 to pi by 2. We know that cos square x plus sin square x is equal to 1. So this is equal to integral of 1 from 0 to pi by 2. So 2i is equal to integral of 1 from 0 to pi by 2. 
we know that integral of 1 with respect to x is x. So using this, integral of 1 from 0 to pi by 2 is equal to x where the lower limit is 0 and upper limit is pi by 2. Now by the second fundamental theorem, we know that if phi x is the empty derivative of continuous function fx defined on closed interval ab, then integral of fx from a to b is equal to phi b minus phi a. So now using this theorem, this is equal to pi by 2 minus 0. So 2i is equal to pi by 2. And this implies i is equal to pi by 4. Hence our required answer is pi by 4. So this completes the session. Bye and take care.